Coco Lee's husband is speaking out publicly for the first time since his wife's death. The Hong Kong-born star died on July 5th, days after she attempted suicide. She was 48. On Friday, her billionaire husband, Bruce Rockowitz, and his two daughters from a previous marriage reflected on Coco in an obituary, which was obtained by Dim Sung Daily Hong Kong that reads, quote, It is with immense sadness and disbelief that we announce the passing of Coco Lee after a long and courageous battle with depression. Coco was a beautiful person both inside and out, warm, kind, and full of life. She was a multifaceted singer-songwriter, a talented performer, a mentor who cared deeply for the younger generation, a beloved wife, friend, and family member. Her passion and sincerity brought sunshine to everyone around her. The many lives she touched will deeply miss her, but her influence and radiance will continue to shine on forever. Details on her funeral will be announced at a later time. Coco and Bruce got married in 2011 after dating for two years. The Canadian businessman is the chairman of Rock Media International and co-founder of The Pure Group. His tribute comes days after her sisters, Carol and Nancy Lee, confirmed her passing on Instagram and Facebook. The late singer had a career that spanned 30 years and included her voicing Disney princess Mulan in the Mandarin language version of the film. Coco's career blew up in the 90s in the Mandarin language pop scene. She later expanded her career by singing in Cantonese and English. Prior to her passing, Coco shared an Instagram post on December 30th, where she reflected on the struggles she faced in 2022 and her hopes for the future, writing, quote, Love and faith, my two favorite words that I carry strongly in my heart, which I desperately needed to get through this incredibly difficult year. Life seemed unbearable at times, but I adapted the attitude of a female warrior to face them head on fearlessly, but always had the biggest smile and big fat laugh. Coco also told fans at the time she was finally living her authentic self. Quote, My goal in 2023 is to share my life story and how I faced major life challenging hurdles and still managed to keep a positive attitude. I am happy to say I am finally living the real me. It's the best feeling and I'm grateful every day to be alive and I get to share my thoughts with you. If you or anyone you know is having thoughts of suicide, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988 or going to the link on your screen.